everyone, I'm so glad to be speaking to you and especially this week because it is maths week and this week we are looking at money. So I have been emptying out my money pot and here is what I found. Now I've already started to sort it into groups and I noticed that actually I had some money from different countries from when I've been travelling on holidays to these countries. So this note is from a place called the Gambia. I wonder if you could find where that is on Google Earth. And this one is from a place called Vietnam. So I wonder, a country called Vietnam. So I wonder if you could find those. But today we are just thinking about the money that you might see the most often. And here is what I found. This one was sneaky though. To me it looked like a 1p, but actually it's five cents. So I'm going to put that over there as well. I've already started to group my money. I wonder if you could talk to somebody at home about how you think I have put them into groups. Mm, take a minute to have a think about that and you can pause the video if you want to. So I've started to group them. I've put my notes over here. I've put my brown coins over this side, my copper ones, but I've split them into the smaller ones and the bigger ones. Then I've got my silver coins and my silver and gold coins. Now I'm going to start to put them in order and then I'm going to point to them. And you can speak to somebody at home about whether I've done it correctly and what the coins are called. So I'm going to start and I know that this one is worth the least amount. So I'm going to put it first. Then I know that this one is worth the next amount. I'm doing this on Eddie's bed today. This one is the next. So even though this is the smallest in size, actually it's not worth the least amount. It's actually worth the third amount. Hmm, then really concentrating and I'm looking carefully at the numbers on the coins as well to help me so that will help you if you've got some coins at home to start to order them and think about their shape and what they look like mm, and now I'm onto my silver and gold and the final one of the coins is here now I'm going to keep going with the notes so as the money gets worth a bit more we go into notes And that's where I have to stop today because I actually don't have a £20 note, unfortunately, in my money box or a £50 note, which would be lovely. So I'm going to point to them and I would like you to tell somebody at home what they are worth. So this one is worth the least amount and I could turn it over and if you really look closely, you might be able to see what it's worth. And remember, it's pennies. these over so you might be able to see there's a fly buzzing around I hope that's not distracting you oh now we change so we're not on pence anymore what one is this one think about what we've done in class if you're not sure an adult at home can tell you what's this one it's a bit bigger it's rounded this one and this one so have a talk at home about what all of these coins are worth. Now, if we zoom out a little bit, you can see that actually, if I wanted to count some of my coins, I could put them into groups. So I want to know how many pence I have here. And this is your challenge. We know that these are two pence. There's, there's a little clue for you from when we were doing our ordering. So these are two P coins. If I want to count them, I think we know a way to count them a lot faster. We don't have to tap them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could count in twos. Let's go together. Ready, steady, go. Two, four, six, eight. Well done. We have eight P. Can you write that down for me somewhere on a piece of paper? Eight P. So the P needs to be really little. Now let's count in ones for these. So here we only have one P, so we have five P. Can you write that down for me as well? Now I want to add them together. So we have five P, add eight P. Or if you've written them down this way, it doesn't matter because with addition we can do it any way round. We could do eight P, add five P. And can you tell me how much that makes 
all together. And if you want to, you could draw the coins to show how much it makes all together. You could draw them in one piece or two piece and another coin, or maybe you might even need a 10 p and another coin with it to tell me the answer that I could swap it for. I hope you've enjoyed our little maths video and there is a lot more you can be doing with lots of worksheets that we are posting on the blog as well so you can discover a lot more and remember the bits that we have already learnt about coins. Speak to you soon year one!